Hello everybody, today I'm going to be trying Star Equestrian. Um, this is made by the same people that made Horse Riding Tales. I always forget the name of it. So generic, I guess. Um, it's kind of weird that it's called Star Equestrian since we have Star Stable. I just thought of that. Anyway, I've seen some good things about this game. I've been trying to not... Apparently, I do not have enough RAM to play it on my computer, so I'm going to try and do it on my phone, and hopefully that works. I mean, technically, I don't have enough RAM to play Red Dead Redemption, but it still works, so sounds like a skill issue to me. But I think, like, it's, it's the next day now, like I was saying, um, I've been trying to avoid spoilers and stuff. Hopefully the sound isn't too loud. A rising equestrian star, you dream of competing in the prestigious star championship that will be held in a few years. If only you can meet the qualifying score. The one horse that your family owns was not bred for this level of competition, but you still hold on to hope, as you've managed to get this far thanks to your skills and passion for riding. One sweltering afternoon, you return from a usual training session to find a mysterious horse by your family's barn. It's a fancy looking horse. Not the same exclamation marks as in Star Stable. I don't know, I might just skip this with you until I get to an interesting part. I want to know what our family horse is. Or who our family's horse is. Wait, why don't... Why don't I get to name him? Snowdrop's a fine name though. Um, I like Snowdrop's. He is very wintry looking, kind of weird. I'm not gonna look for an owner or anything. How put off am I by- How put off am I by a blue horse? Okay, but that petting animation was really cute. Snowdrop is there every morning when you wake up and eventually makes your family stable his home. He seems to delight in watching you train for the star championship and follows you along on your afternoon rides to the waterfall for a swim. That was the best vacation of my life, but it's almost over, and you still haven't let me put a saddle on you. Come now, we've already practiced with some weight on your back. I know you don't like saddles much, but just look at you, I bet with your help, I would surely qualify for the star championship. This is an ugly saddle. Okay, that seems a bit dangerous, guess we're just getting right on. Okay, the clicking sounds are getting a little annoying now. Okay, this is seeming pretty cool. I just wish I could play it on my computer. <laughs> um, anyway, her horse is gone. Uh, are we okay? Oh my gosh, we need a specialist to recover from our fall. And we're too scared to get back on a horse. I I'm just trying to give you the important information in case you any videos or play this game yourself. Two years past, thought you'd left riding behind you until news about the Star Championship reached your ears. It was being held in Everdale, your hometown, and you couldn't believe it. Oh yay, we get to pick out a horse. This is my favorite part. Is this like a starter horse everybody gets, or is it random? Grit. Okay. I don't know if we want to be jumping on our first time back in a horse in two years, but... Sure. I'm liking the story of this game. It's actually unique. <laughs> Snowdrop is back. Nobody better take my horse. I kind of wanted to look around the scenery, around the map. Ooh, I'm like I'm like in the vibes of this place. I know that horse riding tails is really expensive. I'm not sure. There's VIP, which is fifty dollars. That's a bit expensive for a mobile game, but not for a PC game. I'm pretty sure this is coming to Steam eventually. I think I mentioned that before, but I didn't want to wait anymore. What happens if we say we don't like the poster? Do we get to change it? 
I mean, I do like it. I don't like all the, like, red notifications um, in games like Genshin Impact. It bothers me so much. I have to go find them all and... Ugh. I'm getting memories of putting posters up for James, and I'm here for it. Oh, this is a good way to give us a tutorial of the map. This is pretty creative. I like this. A gray horsey. What are you doing? I wonder if you can, like, make an account so, like, you can keep playing on the same thing when it comes on Steam, if you know what I, if you know what I mean. Okay, this is- they actually put thought into this. It's not like, here's a tutorial of the map. Bro's just giving me free tack. The chicken poop. Chickens. I love that. This little garden area. That is so cute. So we're going to the show jumping arena. I think this is our friend or something. Will Sienna Meadow please report to the starting line? Uh, I don't remember telling anyone I was coming, but okay. I feel like I'm gonna fail horribly at this. Ah, because I feel like what, by the time it turns green, I'm so close to the jump. So I jump when it's yellow and then I hit it. Uh, Wendy disappeared. That's a little concerning. <laughs> this one's so goofy. I like how the camera doesn't stay where you put it. Like, at all. Horseshoe. Picking flowers, golden horseshoes. Uh, picking flowers. I... My round didn't take that long. I don't know how far she could get. A little rude she didn't watch me. I mean, that was kind of a big thing, wasn't it? I hope we have an energy bar. Energy bars are honestly kind of annoying, I know. <laughs> Their horse got spooked and ran off. Okay. I kinda ship it. I like how you can just walk using the um wheel thing, whatever it's called. But then to go faster you can use the buttons on the side. Bro, don't roll with the tack on! That's a really cute animation, though. I think I'm supposed to talk to him. We unlocked our own cute little pasture. And a house. Speak to Joy about ranches. Um. This seems like a decent spot to leave off. That'll probably be all for this video. Let me know if you want me to, like, continue the series. Um. I think it'd be pretty fun. This game is a lot better than I thought it'd be, if I'm being honest. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, bye!